Welcome to today's adventure where we will depart our home base here in Fajardo, Puerto Rico and drive through San Juan to the Bacardi Rum Factory in Catano. Uh, sit back, enjoy the ride, watch the scenery, and uh, I'll have a few comments along the way. Our route today from Fajardo to the Catano area uh, will take us a little over an hour actual driving time. I'll uh, kind of shorten this video and condense areas, speed things up so it doesn't take us a full hour. But uh, we're going to drive uh, up through uh, the La Quilla area and the popular La Quilla beaches, some of the most beautiful beaches in Puerto Rico. Up past that, up through Rio Grande and Carolina. Uh, through the metro area of San Juan. We'll kind of skirt the old city of San Juan and go south of that using their excellent highway systems to the Catano area where the Bacardi Rum Factory or Rum Distillery is located. So sit back, enjoy, and uh, I'll give you some other highlights along the route. Driving in Puerto Rico can be quite treacherous. You have to really drive defensively. Uh, the cars and the drivers don't seem to pay a whole lot of attention to the rules of the road that uh, mainland Americans <laughs> are accustomed to. They park on all sides of the street, wherever they happen to just want to park. And uh, they, they'll, they'll pull out in front of you at red lights and stop signs, they'll run the stop signs. Um, it, it's it's just a, it's a really kind of wild. The, the roads too are pretty bad shape generally a lot of potholes so again your defensive driving is not only looking out for other cars but uh, trying to miss the potholes in the, in the roads. Apparently the economy uh, is taking a real hit in Puerto Rico in recent months and as a result they just really haven't been keeping up with the uh, road maintenance and other things uh, throughout the country. Now some areas are nicer than others. Fajardo is one that seems to have a lot of a lot of holes in the road so you got to be real careful in driving.
nearly every major chain is represented in Puerto Rico. Notice the uh, Church's Chicken and Burger King are very prevalent. Uh, interesting thing is, is it seems like wherever there's a Church's Chicken, there's also a Burger King right next door. So it must be that the same franchise owns <clears throat> both, or the same franchisee owns both of both of those franchises because they seem to have their stores next to one another all the time. Uh, also other major, all just nearly every major retailer company, Walmart, uh, Sam's Club, uh, Walgreens, you name it, um, you know, can be found in uh, Puerto Rico. The only company I couldn't find was Target. And I understand there's a rental car company in Puerto Rico called Target that basically kept the uh, retail store out of the country, presumably for uh, trademark infringement. Hang on now as I speed up the video a little bit to make the, compress the time a little bit. No, I'm not speeding through these streets. It's just a fast video. So hang on, enjoy. Perhaps you've heard it said that if you don't like your weather, just wait a few minutes and it will change. Seems like people in all parts of the country have that saying, but it's true in Puerto Rico. Uh, the climate of Puerto Rico falls into the tropical climate, uh, climatic zone. Temperatures are moderate year-round, averaging around 80 degrees in lower elevations and 70 degrees in the mountains. But one thing it seems like you can count on in Puerto Rico is it's going to rain. And it doesn't necessarily rain all day, and it doesn't rain in downpours, but it will rain in short periods of time. So you need to be prepared with a poncho or whatever. And don't worry, if it's raining now, it'll clear up in a little while. <laughs> Vamos cantando y bailando a casa de la Comay. Vamos cantando y bailando a casa de la Comay. A bailar el aguinaldo y a cantar el eludai. Y si la cosa está buena, yo me quedo aquí con Pai. Y si la cosa está buena, yo me quedo aquí con Pai. Porque llegó noche buena, porque llegó Navidad, porque llegaron los reyes y vamos a celebrar. Porque llegó noche buena, porque. There are a number of toll roads in Puerto Rico, with each toll being between 75 cents and three dollars. Uh, we use the electronic toll pass called Auto Expresso, which is much like Easy Pass in the U.S. Uh, the car rental places will rent you an Auto Expresso tag with your car, and it lets you zip through the tolls instead of waiting in the cash line. <laughs> See, what did I say about the rain? Just brief periods of rain, and then it clears up, dries out. 
Cantío de gallo por todita la ciudad, se oye cantío de gallo por todita la ciudad, y los aires navideños anuncian felicidad, y qué hermosos son los días en esta festividad, y qué hermosos son los días en esta festividad, porque llegó noche buena, porque llegó Navidad, porque llegaron los reyes. We are now passing by Isla Verde, Spanish for Green Island, to District of Carolina located east of the Metro San Juan area and the area where most tourists end up in one of these large hotels. Well, here we go again. Rain drops on the windshield, and we're going to have another brief shower. Like me, you've always thought of uh, the Bacardi rum as being Puerto Rican, but actually, I was surprised to learn that uh, Don Facundo Bacardi Maso immigrated to Cuba in 1830, where he set up his business as a wine merchant and an importer. And in 1862, uh, Bacardi purchased a small distillery and uh, revolutionized rum and rum making and then later in 1879 during the uh, Cuban conflict uh, the Spanish detained Don Facundo and his son Facundo in front of their distillery uh, and later uh, the distillery was destroyed by fire in 1880. Uh, in 1936 Bacardi Corporation was established in San Juan and uh, the history goes from there. Que lindo eres Puerto Rico. Que lindo mi suelo. Puerto Rico. La tierra donde yo nací. Y me vio crecer. The current 
facility was built in 1958 on 127 acres in the town of Catania. Since 1961, Bacardi Corporation has operated the state-of-the-art Casa Bacardi Visitor Center, the second most visited venue in Puerto Rico. The bat-winged Visitor's Pavilion of Bacardi Corporation was built in 1970 by Spanish architect Felix Candela. After purchasing our tour tickets uh, and a short wait, we had a short ride, try about 100 yards on the tram to the Bacardi Visitor Center where we can learn about the past, present, and future of the world's most awarded rum and spirit. Here you can relive the history and see how Bacardi evolved from being a small rum manufacturer to becoming the untamable spirit that it is today.